Hey everyone, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Marcus Max, and recently a lot of people have been telling me that I should either do a blog or some videos on YouTube or what have you about everything that I do involving guns. For those of you who don't know who I am, I served for three and a half years in the Israeli infantry as a sharpshooter and a combat armorer. I'm currently in the Pennsylvania Gunsmithing School located in Pittsburgh and I'm generally politically very active when it comes to gun rights and gun ownership. So today I'm going to hopefully upload my first video and guys let me know what you think. James Kalita, this one's for you. So because this is my first video, I'm going to talk about what it's like to be an Orthodox Jewish gun owner in the not so gun friendly state of New Jersey. The first thing that comes to mind is a lot of people look at you like Oh, you're Jewish? Shouldn't you hate guns? Didn't the Nazis use guns? Didn't this group use guns? Didn't that group use guns? And they go th all throughout Jewish history saying how Jews should hate guns because of all the times guns were used against Jews as a whole. And I'm thinking, but yeah, every time that happened, it's when Jews were not allowed to own guns and these things happened. That's the number one, first and foremost reason that this Jew owns a gun. The next thing... I want to talk about is being a gun owner in the state of New Jersey. Now a lot of people would ask me, why would you want to live in New Jersey if you're a gun owner? Isn't New Jersey one of the least gun friendly states in America? And the answer is yes. They have an assault weapons ban, they have a magazine limit, which is right now at 15. They passed a bill to go, to go down to 10, and if Christie signs that bill, it will go down to 10. They don't allow concealed carry. I think there's some 1,200 civilians within the state of New Jersey, 8.5 million people, who are allowed to concealed carry. And a lot of people ask me, why don't you move? Why don't you move to Pennsylvania? Why don't you move to Florida? Why don't you move to Texas? And the answer is real simple. If we just run every time, you know, Democrats take over a state and make it, you know, unconstitutional laws, then every time that happens, we're just going to keep running. What are we all going to have? All of us move into Texas? All of us move into Florida? And we see this all the time. Colorado, no one ever thought Colorado was going to have a mag limit, and now they have a 15-round mag limit because the state's turning purple. It used to be dyed in the wool red. And what happens is that Democrats move out of states like California, they move out of states like New York, they move out of states like New Jersey, and they spread to states like Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania went purple. Right now, Pennsylvania has a majority Republicans in its state house, but they vote for Democrat presidents every time. They move out of states like California, and they move to Colorado, and now Colorado has a magazine limit. You know, so as long as we keep running, they're going to keep coming at us with more and more laws. And I think what we have to do to fight back is say, no, we're not going to run. We're not going to move out of the state. And what you're going to do is you're going to learn that eventually you'll have to respect the Constitution. And if not, we're going to vote you out. So I hope you guys liked my first video. I kept it short because it's the first one. Hopefully next time we'll be able to go more in depth, talk about more guns, more gun politics, and more what it's like living in a not-so-gun-friendly state when you own guns. So... If you liked it, please click like, please click subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a nice day.